Hey everybody, welcome to the lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to keep building on our game by adding movable enemies. So let's get started. So as you can see right now in my scene, I've created a little uh, vampire enemy here. And uh, we're going to create some codes. So we're going to have the enemy chase our player. So let's get this enemy set up first. So we have our inspector over here. We're going to add some components. We're going to add a box collider. And we're going to add a rigid body 2D. Let's freeze that rotation and set the gravity scale to zero. Excellent. If we go to test the game now, our player should be able to bump into the object and give them a little push. Perfect. Okay, so everything is working good there. Uh, let's move on to our scripts here. So we're going to create a new C Sharp script. We're going to call this enemy controller. Let's take our enemy controller once it loads up the domain there. And let's drag that onto our enemy. Perfect. And let's double click to open up Visual Studio here. Now, while uh, this loads up, we're going to do so, some very similar movement as we did with our player here. So let's start by uh, creating a few variables. Okay, I'm going to start my variables using headers, of course. Um, let's see, we're going to create a header here. This first header we're going to call this, whoops. We'll call this header uh, components. And in the components, we are going to create a rigid body here because we need to be able to access the rigid body we'll call this enemy rb and we're going to create a transform here and this is going to be our target you can call it target you can call it player kind of uh, whatever you want there and let's create another header here and we'll call this one variables and we'll just store the um, enemy speed here Excellent. So now in the start, let's grab that rigid body. Uh, so let's uh, take our enemy RB and we'll get component rigid body 2D. Thanks Visual Studio for fixing that up there. And then the next thing we're actually doing is we're actually going to assign our target here. So we're going to say target and uh, the target is going to be equal to, let's do a find object by type. We haven't done that yet. So let's do find object by type and let's actually just look for our player controller script. Let's initialize that script, and then we're going to take the transform. So what this code is doing here, it's taking our target variable that we've made. It's going to look for a object that has a player controller script on it, and then it's going to locate its transform. So when we say target now, we're grabbing the transform of the object that has the player controller script. Excellent. And then the last step we're going to do is let's just move our enemy. So this code is actually relatively straightforward. Uh, we're going to take our enemy uh, rigid body and we're going to do the velocity command. Okay. And what we're going to do with that is uh, we're going to tell the enemy's velocity um, to move towards the player. Okay. And we're going to do that by taking our targets position, the position of our target. Remember the target is the transform of the object that has the player controller script. And then we're actually going to minus the transform dot position of our enemy. Okay. So in order to set our enemy's velocity, we're going to take the position of our player and minus our current position from that. And that'll give us a direction that we are heading in towards. So let's save that and let's go back over to Unity now and see if this works. So as you can see, the enemy is moving towards us, but this odd thing's happening. When I get further away from the enemy, it starts to move at a higher rate of speed, and it slows down when it gets closer towards me. So let's fix that now. We'll explain this in more detail in class why this is doing this. But it's a very simple bit of code we got to put in here. After our position, we're going to do something called dot normalize, which just uh, controls the speed down to a constant movement of one. Okay. And now let's go back into Unity here. Let's hit play. And now we can see our enemy moves at a constant speed. Excellent. And we can always uh, increase the speed of the enemy by multiplying that enemy velocity uh, with our enemy speed variable. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening, and we will see you all later.